let's have a look at how we can control character spacing here inside of InDesign. Now what I'm about to show you will work in many other Adobe programs, including Photoshop and Illustrator, but again, we'll just be focusing on InDesign today. If I just double click to get inside of a text box, the options which we'll be playing with today are available in the character section of the properties panel just here, but I'm also aware that not all of you will be using the latest versions of InDesign, which has this relatively new properties panel. So for that reason, for this video today, I'll be working from the character panel, which has that same information. Alrighty, let's dive in. So let's get nice and close to this nutrition title just here, because I have a couple of problems, mainly with the space between this N and this U just here. So if we wish to control the spacing between pairs of characters, we are going after what's called the kerning. And that's this little icon just here, the capital V with the capital A with the slash between them. So this is kerning, the spacing between a pair of characters. So with my cursor between those two just there, I can come down to this drop down list just here. And if I choose a positive number, it will increase the spacing between them. If I choose a negative number, it will reduce the spacing between them. Alrighty, that's already looking much better. I can use this up and down arrows just over here, I can click inside the box and press the up and down arrows on my keyboard to change that kerning there like so. But the way I generally like to work is using keyboard shortcuts, because what's great is with the keyboard shortcut, you don't even have to have this panel open. So with my cursor again between the N and the U, I can just hold down my Alt or my Option key and press the right arrow key to increase the spacing or the left arrow key to decrease the spacing. So Alt or Option, and my left and right arrow keys. That's my kerning. Fantastic. Oh, just one last thing to point out with the kerning as well. If I, for example, move over to the next character pair, the U and the T, I'm seeing in here negative 12 in brackets. Now, if you ever see numbers in here in brackets, it's referencing one of these two modes, optical or metrics. And these are two modes available to InDesign for setting character spacing automatically. So metrics will come in by default. If you don't like it, set it to optical. Wow, what's going on here? So in this case, we would definitely leave it at either metrics. We'll come in here and just set our own value to taste. Okay, very cool. So that's kerning guys, spacing between characters. Now I'd like to talk about these little headings just here. So let's zoom in just here like so. So let's just start off by selecting this one just here. Now I'd like to control the spacing between all of the characters just here. Now when we are doing it for multiple characters at a time, controlling the space between them that is, we are talking about tracking. So that's what this little icon is just over here. It's again a V and an A, but it's got that double headed arrow just under there like so. So kind of the same as before guys, um, we can hit that drop down list, a positive number will increase the spacing, a negative number will decrease the spacing. We can use those up and down arrows. And we can also click inside, move our arrows up and down. But again, we've got a nice keyboard shortcut. So with that text selected, I can actually use the same keyboard shortcut as before. So Alt or Option, left and right arrow keys to increase or decrease the tracking. So just to um, recount there, remember guys, if you've got your cursor flashing between a pair of characters, Alt or Option with the left and the right arrow key changes the kerning. If you have multiple characters selected, Alt or Option with the left and the right arrow key controls the tracking. Very nice. Now, remember I pointed out before there were multiple titles on this page. Actually, I'll just zoom out so we can see all of that. And I'll bring up my paragraph styles panel as well. So if I click inside of say, this title just here, which remains unchanged, you can see it's using the paragraph style of heading. And if I click into this one that I was messing around with, you can see it now reads as heading plus. Of course, the plus sign in InDesign is its way of telling us that we've got some manual overrides in place. So let's say, for example, I like this new look with all this new tracking. If I want all of these other headings to look like that, with my cursor inside of here, I can just go to the flyout menu here and choose Redefine Style. And when I do that, you can see all of these, all of these other titles have adjusted to suit. Very nice. One last thing I'd like to show you guys is inside of the preferences. So up under InDesign preferences, I am looking for units and increments. If you're on a Windows machine, you'll find this at the bottom of the edit menu. So if I bring this up, just down here, you have an option here for kerning and tracking. 
Now you might have noticed when I was using the keyboard shortcuts before, the kerning and the tracking were changing in units of 20. So if I change this to something like five and choose OK, and let's zoom in nice and close on nutrition again, and let's maybe come over to this O and this N. So we've got a bit of an issue going on just here. Make sure I can see my character panel because I'd just like you to keep an eye on the kerning value just in here. So again, I'm inside between the O and the N. If I hold down Alter Option and press my left arrow key once, you can see the kerning has reduced by five units, which matches what we just changed inside of the preferences. Very nice. So that's our tracking and kerning, guys. I hope it helps you with your character spacing here inside of InDesign and not forgetting a whole bunch of other Adobe programs as well.